Okay, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are trying pizza dough. I'm going to be making pizza dough to be used later on in a day or two. I'm not going to use it tonight, but I'm going to show you the process that I go through. So if you're interested in this, keep on watching. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Hit that alert button, you know the drill, so you'll be notified of every video I put up. Now this recipe is a recipe from Jada De Laurentiis, the chef on, on Food Network. She's an Italian cook, a chef, and I love watching her and I love her recipes. So I am using her recipe for pizza dough. So this is the water, honey, and yeast in here. And you mix it until dissolved, and then you're supposed to let it sit for three to five minutes so it starts foaming up. That's how you know the yeast is active. So that's what we're doing here. Now since I know that's active, I'm going to go into my other bowl here, and I'm going to put the flour and salt, and then we're going to mix the two together. It's a very simple process. It's just time consuming. Now if you're looking for a quick pizza, like sometimes my son who lives by himself just wants a quick pizza, He's got to go out in the freezer and get a pizza. This is not quick. Pizza dough has to rise. So, now we're going to continue with the process. Chris, this is probably not for you, but for anybody who doesn't mind waiting for the pizza dough to rise, this is a great recipe. Okay, so we put the flour and salt in there. Then we have to combine the two. Now, when I used to make this with my mother or grandmother, uh, they used to always put a hole in the center and pour the liquid in there and slowly incorporate the flour with the liquid. So I'll show you what I mean. I made a little hole in the middle and that's where I poured the liquid and now I'm going to mix it all together. Okay, you mix it until it starts coming away from the sides. You can use a standalone KitchenAid mixer if you want. I'm going to link the description down below and you can follow the instructions. But we have to mix some more and then we're going to let it sit so it could, be, could rise. Making pizza dough is very easy, but it does take time. Because you have to let it rise and punch it down and things like that. So. We're going to keep going here with the pizza dough. Okay, the next thing I do here is I take the cooking spray and I will spray the bowl. You can use oil, olive oil, however you want. The spray is just easier for me and that's the way I do it. The next thing I do is I take a little bit of oil and oil my hands and then form the bowl. Otherwise, it's a sticky dough. It'll stick to your hands. Okay, so here is my dough ball. I have formed it into a ball. We're going to cover it, and this is going to rise. You cover it and put it in a warm place. Now, all we have to do is wait, wait, and wait some more. And then, when it, gets, when it rises, I'll bring you back. It'll only be another second for you. As you can see, my dough doubled in size. Now we're supposed to punch it down and let it rise another hour. Okay, the pizza dough is all risen again. So now I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag in the refrigerator so I have it ready to use when I wanna make my pizza. Thanks for coming along for this video. Smash that like button and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.